Grecia, where are we? Walmart. Walmart. What's up, strangers? Welcome back to another video. Today is May May 14th, and I am vlogging today. I didn't take a week off. I just didn't vlog anything. I'm vlogging today, obviously, and right now we are at Walmart. And this lady is moving, so I'm going to... I'm literally like right here, right in front of the store. And this lady's pulling out, so that means that I'm going to get one spot closer. Who else does that? Like, I'm right here, but I'm going to get this parking spot. Does anybody else do that, or is it just me? Like, look at how close I am. But Lindsay has to park super close. Let me straighten out. Okie dokie. So like I said, I had to come get some groceries and stuff because we do not have food. Grecia doesn't have yogurt. She doesn't have like juice and things like that. So she woke up this morning. She told me she wanted to come to Walmart because it's her favorite store besides Target. So I said, you know what? Let's drive an hour, go to Walmart, get some things that we need, and then we'll go home. And I also have something really exciting to tell you guys. Um, but I will wait till we get home. So let's go inside Walmart and see what we buy. Hey, are you ready to go to Walmart? So I didn't um, vlog inside Walmart because it was just it's just me and Grecia and I get like anxiety and stuff when we're by ourselves and I hate coming to like Walmart and like basically just like what you want what I move it you want a banana? Hold on, let me see. This is why I always have to carry snacks because she gets hungry and then I don't have anything to give her. I get like really bad anxiety when it's just me and her because I feel like someone's out to get us or like, I don't know, they're gonna take her from me or something. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But it happens and I just freak out and I hold on to her super tight because I'm like terrified for something crazy like that to happen because now you never know what the heck can happen in this crazy world. So um, I got everything that I was looking for except for two things that I really wanted to get and I forgot her milk and the grapes from here like socks, they were super squishy and I hate soft grapes. So I don't want this thing to fall. So, um, I'm gonna go to the other Walmart, which is maybe like 15 minutes away from this one. And I'm going to see if they have that thing there. It's kind of like a cart. Not a cart, but it's, it's like it holds like things in it. So I guess it would be like a little cart. And the reason I want it is because I need to find a better way to store all of her toys that she has inside her little playhouse because 
everything is just like messy it's super messy and she doesn't play in it because it's a mess and so that's why I wanted to find that so that I could store all of her like play food and stuff because she does have her little kitchen in there um, so that I could store it properly so that it can be neat and put together and stuff so she can actually use it because she hasn't used it in quite a while crossing my fingers there's a this is a school zone so I need to slow down but I'm crossing my fingers that I find the stuff and hard crunchy grapes because and chick-fil-a chick-fil-a Chick you want some bus. look at the bus she's obsessed with buses you guys she loves buses and she's never even been in one before but every time we pass the schools in town she says look mommy my friends go there like my heart she thinks she has friends she just has me and her dad and my family of course Bert's family too one day you're gonna go to school and you're gonna be super smart and you're gonna love it so so much and I am so excited to tell you guys what I've been waiting to tell you guys so if you guys want to know what it is then stay tuned until we get home or by the title of this video I'm pretty sure you know what it's about or like it's got to be on the thumbnail or the title of this video I don't know but I'm so excited and I will tell you guys exactly how I did it in just three days there's another bus so let's head on over to Walmart we'll see you guys there oh no the police yeah that is the police you're not supposed to be vlogging and driving Don't let it go. It's so heavy, mommy. <sighs> okay, guys, so I did not find what I was looking for. Um, so I'm just gonna ask Bert to see if he can look for one before he comes home. But we did, oh my God, I have really bad bags. Last night was a horrible night to sleep. I had a crappy, crappy night last night. This is supposed to be like a pop socket, but it's called a Nucky. Nuckies. So I'm trying to figure out where. I usually hold it right here, so I'm gonna stick it on. And it doesn't have like the little thing that stays like that. It has like a little band inside it. Um, so I got this one and a giraffe because I have another case and I have, I got this new phone. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but you see the bus? But I did get a new phone. I got the iPhone X, XS, XS Max or XS Plus. I don't know what the heck it's called. But I did end up leaving Walmart with a giant pool that fits in the bed of my truck. I'm gonna, I put the waters that I bought at the other walmart inside the pool so that it won't fly away because i do have to drive back home and it's like an hour to get home and i was going to stop and eat at chick-fil-a i don't know if i should still because <coughs> she might have to go pee if there's a lot of people we're not we're just gonna pick up and go home but if there's not a lot of people then i'll stop and eat there just because she's gonna have to go potty so we'll see right now what it's like at chick-fil-a So it looks pretty packed in here. So we're not going to stay. We're just gonna pick it up, okay? Yeah, it looks pretty packed, so. We're just gonna pick it up and go home and pray to God that she does not have an accident on the way home. Go. We're gonna we're gonna go swimming in your pool. So we so we have to go home, okay? We're just gonna pick up Papita and we're gonna go home. Yeah? No, this one. Show them what you got. Show them what is that? You guys, she's obsessed with Paw Patrol. So I got her this little, I think it's like a pencil holder or something, I don't even know, but it says, it says Team Sky. Let me see it, mommy. Close it. 
It's so cute. I love it. And then I also got her two little cups because at the dollar store I had bought her two Paw Patrol cups um, to drink from. And I had only we had only bought her two that one time and I, I don't know why I like to have everything in fours. I'm weird. So I saw the same, not the same cups, they're like different. It has like a different design on it, but it's the same size of cup and the same, um, what is it called? Like the same size and it's the same cup, just a different design on it or whatever. So I got her two more cups and that little tin thing, her swimming pool. And I think that's all I, oh, and pancakes. Okay, you guys, so we have our food. I have my spicy burger, my sweet tea. Gracia has her nuggets and her sweet tea. We are gonna go home and I'm, I'm like, this is the first time that I travel with her anywhere. Like in town, she's never had accidents. She's never had one accident ever. So, I'm like really hoping that either she tells me that she has to pee or she just doesn't go at all and we like she can wait till we get home. So, I'm gonna get started on driving before I'm just like killing time. So, <sighs> we'll see you guys at home. It is, let me tell you guys the time real quick. Um, it is 3.45 on the dots. So I'm gonna start showing you guys everything I got from Walmart in no specific order. I got popcorn, these are the single serve bags, and then I got these Scotch Bright scrub sponges for the dishes some oreos for grecia most of everything i got is for her i got her two of these danimals these are the strawberry explosion banana split and then these are wild watermelon and more strawberry explosion i am out of breath oh my god then i got her some pancakes for breakfast these are just the buttermilk pancakes um, every time I make them for her, they remind me of like school because they smell like the pancakes they used to serve us at school. These are the other cups that I was talking to you guys about. And then I got her the Banana Boat um, Kids Sports um, sunscreen. And then I got some oranges for myself because when I feel the need to snack on stuff, I snack a lot on fruit. These Golden Steak Fries, Paw Patrol Chicken Nuggets, and then of course paw patrol string cheese like literally any little thing that's paw patrol she wants because tell you guys she's obsessed one more time paw patrol this is a paw patrol shirt that says friends forever this is i got all her clothes in like 3t40 this shirt was 497 a lot of this stuff was on rollback so that is why i got a bunch of this stuff um, I also got her this super cute romper. It's like, um, I don't know, like a, little, like a mint green color. Um, I got this one for T and this was also $4.97, but I think it was a dollar off, so I paid $3 for it. And then this little shirt too was two bucks. So this is 3T and original price is $4.48, but I paid $2 for it, so hit up Walmart. I got her this little gray one that says Chasing Rainbows and it has little pom-poms. And then this other little romper also, this is 40 and this is 497. And I just love these colors, perfect for summer. And then I got her some more undies. This is like literally like the fourth pack of undies that I buy her already. But the first pack I bought her was a long time ago when she wasn't potty training. Like I had bought them just to see if she would want to do it. She never wanted to. So by the time I did it, they started fitting her super small. So then the other day I bought her a pack that was four to five T and they're just too big. She's always getting wedgies. So I just went back and got her these. These are the size two T to three T and they're a hundred percent cotton and it's super, super soft material. So these are 10 undies for her and then i got her some little shorts 
Um, I got these in a size 3T and these were $4.48. I got the dark wash and then I also got them in light. I got some Gain softener. I also got the Gain Island Fresh um, soap, but the powder soap. Then I got these Clear American Sparkling Waters. They're the strawberry flavor. They have zero caffeine, zero calories, and zero sugars. Like This is literally flavored water and it's so good. So when I feel the need to drink something that reminds me of a Coke, I drink one of those. And then I just got Grecia this pack of Kool-Aid jammers. And then I got two things of eggs. Mini pepperonis because she loves to snack on mini pepperoni and string cheese. Then I got her some bananas. That is all I bought besides the two cases of water and the swimming pool that's in the back of the truck. The oh my god, look at her. She's cleaning, you guys. Are you putting all your stuff away? Uh oh. There, just leave it like that. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see. Good job. What is that? Yeah. So I already swept in there. And she says she's putting all her things away. So I'm going to go in. What is that? This chicky. Ketchup. Ketchup. Yeah. Um, she had all these things. She's got her little shopping cart here that's full of stuff that needs to be in its place. These little things also, like, there's just mess everywhere. There's more food in this bag. That's a real package that I just got delivered. And then she's got, like, cleaning things here. Like her little cleaning tray or whatever. A closed bottle of water and then she's got her register and just a shot. that's a shot yeah. oh my goodness are you a doctor um, yeah, yeah? Kinder egg. what is that that's kinder egg. a kinder egg <laughs> oh, not inside. there's nothing inside no that's right so can mommy go in and clean your house um, I can do you're gonna clean it too? Can mommy go in there though? Yes. Yes? Okay, so I'm going to try to tackle this little corner here because there's just a mess everywhere. Okay guys, so this is what I did. Um, over here in the corner, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of our house. I just have all of her cleaning supplies. I have her grocery bag here, her salt and pepper shakers, her hot sauce, mustard, and ketchup right here, her sink, my phone. In here, she's got her dishes and her utensils, extra pepper. And then right here, she just has her little grocery basket. She also has a Dollar General one up there. And then inside her fridge and freezer, she has some canned goods. And her freezer section, she has some ice cream, yogurt, milk, and whatever, orange juice. Then down here, she has a cake and another bottle of water. I think I enjoy this more than she does. So I have, I put her basket down here so when she goes grocery shopping. And then up here, I just put like her Whole Foods, um, as you guys can see here, like all little things she has. And then down here, she has more bologna pancakes, um, hamburger stuff, hot dogs. She even has, um, what is this? Sushi. She has sushi rolls and stuff and all that. And then out here, we have all the toys that I took out that do not belong in here. I know that most of this stuff is not going to last in its place. I know she's going to have a mess by tomorrow, which is fine because that's the whole point of her having this. 
I just needed to clean it for her because she wasn't playing in here anymore. <laughs> Order up. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna finally sit down. Gracia is in her room playing with all of her toys. But I'm gonna finally sit down and tell you guys how I potty trained my two year old. It all happened in a matter of three days, you guys. Three short days, like two and a half days. She was fully potty trained. I started trying to potty train her when she had just turned two, maybe she was like two years old in like two months. When I started, first started, like when I had first started buying her like the underwears and stuff like that. But I will say that when I first started trying to potty train her, I did it for a day. She had an accident. I like, I was like, she's not ready. I told myself she wasn't ready because she had one accident. No, mommy, I'm okay, thank you. And I never tried it again. I put the underwear away and I, basically, I listened to what everybody else told me. I listened to what everyone said and if she has accidents, it's because she's too little, she doesn't understand, she's not ready, give her time, she'll let you know when she's ready and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to put it off for a couple more months and I'll try again later. Uh, maybe closer to when she's almost three years old. She's about to be two and a half in June. My sister-in-law was basically the one, hold on. My sister-in-law was basically the one who like push started everything. Jenny one day, she was like, why isn't she potty trained? And I was like, I don't know, she's not ready. And she was like, you know what, no, it's time we're gonna potty train her we're gonna do this she's gonna get it and that's that so i was like okay you can try if you want to but i don't think she's ready i was at my mom's house she got home from work with poster boards honestly you guys it wasn't like i'm only gonna give her three days this is how long it took her like her brain to like understand what she had to do for me but we made it like fun for her so i'm gonna explain to you guys how we potty trained her in three days i know there is like posts blog posts about how to potty train your baby in three days that's that no this is just how like fast she was able to learn so like i said she got home with um charts just like this one she got home with stickers and she got home with poop stickers so we made her two charts one to have here at home and one to have at my mom's house so she had two charts and this is basically what we did for her so i'm going to show you guys and hopefully you guys can like under i'm gonna explain what all this is we made her a chart with 10 rows because i said 10 rows she should more or less you know be able to tell me um if not like we'll make her another chart and she'll have two charts or whatever like but this is how many times it took her to go like for her to be able to tell me on her own like mommy i need to go to the bathroom let's run and she would go to the bathroom so we made her chart 10 rows and 10 hearts going across so each time she would go to the potty i would give her a sticker i would tell her you need to go to the potty you need to tell me every time you go pee i'll give you a sticker to put on your chart so each time she went to the bathroom she would get a sticker obviously once she got 10 stickers she would get a prize so she knew that every 10 times that she went to the bathroom she would get a prize now the prizes that we bought her were little dollar store prizes like slime those slimy squishy hands um little necklaces and things like that so that's what we did and she kind of saw it like a game like she would tell me mama i went pee or i went poop where's my sticker so i would go give her a sticker and she would put it on her chart so i made my mom's chart look so much better like i'll have to show you guys her chart my mom's chart in another vlog but my mom's looks so much neater mine is like nasty and like disgusting my sister-in-law also found these poop stickers that we also got from the dollar store so every time she would go poop she would get a poop sticker 
so you guys can see like all the times that she went poop and stuff these are just the stickers we got her they're a dollar from the dollar store and there's so many to choose from these are also from the dollar store and they come like in a pack of three so you get three sheets for a dollar so that's awesome this is the official date that she got potty trained so may 3rd 2019 and she is two years old and five months and that's how many times it took her to get potty trained number of accidents she had one accident throughout her entire potty training process so in those three days that we were potty training she had one accident which was on the first day and only because we were outside um, she was in her swimming pool at my mom's house and my sister-in-law wet her with the water hose and she peed herself after she was able to tell me herself like mom i have to go pee or mom i have to go poop um she has been completely dry all the time she wears undies 24 7. she goes to bed i stop giving her liquids around 8 8 30 because she usually falls asleep around 9 30 ish 10 and i always take her to the bathroom right before she's gonna fall asleep to empty out her bladder and she stays completely dry throughout the night first thing in the morning she wakes me up and she tells me mom i have to go to the bathroom so i get up really fast and i take her to the bathroom as fast as i can and that's when she like pees a lot because i guess she knows now that she has to hold it we're so excited that we were able to do this with her that she was able to understand us and stuff at only two and a half years we're also super excited that we do not have to buy diapers anymore so that means we can have baby number two it's gonna happen whenever god wants it to happen she's still in like she's still like in the training process or whatever so yeah that's pretty much how we did it we did a chart there was stickers there was prizes it took us three days you guys it was fast it was easy and now she doesn't use diapers and that's so amazing so if your kids are not potty trained yet, give this a try. I'm not 100% sure that it's going to work with every single kid, but I just thought I would give you guys my tips on how to potty train your kid 100%. I think that's it, you guys. I pretty much made this vlog super long because of this, but the reason why I wanted to vlog today was to tell you guys this. So I am going to be vlogging tomorrow also, hopefully. You guys will see more of us and you guys will keep seeing vlogs here and there. I am going to work out right now again. I actually just got a message from my sister-in-law, Wendy, um, about a post on Instagram that are home workouts. So I guess I'm going to give that a shot too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little Walmart grocery haul and I guess just seeing our faces again. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.